Well, I'm back after a long day with the puppies. Um, the older dog, the older boy, was a croc. There's nothing wrong with him. Nothing. Um, I think he had a piece of food stuck for a while, and it came out. So he got his shots. And the other little boy, he is in the kitchen now. I put him in a crate because he is not... He's trying to jump, and yeah... So he's doing okay, but he, you can tell he's not with it yet. So I'm gonna try to do as much of a video right now as I can do while they're back there um, kind of entertaining each other. If they start crying or anything, I'll probably have to stop the video and come back. So let's go ahead and start. This is still part of the bucket. I just laid this stuff out um, while he was sitting on my lap. Um, I think he'll be fine. I'm not real sure. I think he takes his pain pill at eight, I'm pretty sure. And, um, wow. He'll be fine. He's just being a big baby, <laughs> poor thing. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start from my right to my left. And um, the first piece I have, it's just pretty. It's um, not heavy, which I thought was interesting. This is very lightweight. It is really neat. I like it. It's um, got all the stones, which is kind of amazing. Um, I think those are okay there. I was looking to see if any are dark. I think this is a little older piece, but it is on a cord. And it does have an extender, so it's probably about 18. Yeah, it's about 17 to 18 inches with the extender. And um, I think it's really pretty. So I'm gonna put $5 on this one. And the pink stone in the center just sets it off. Isn't that pretty? Very, very nice. So I'll put that one there. The next one is just lovely. It's got a tassel. It's just um, glass beads. There is no maker on it, but it's very, very pretty. The beautiful kind of a teal blue color with that stone there. And the little dangle. So I'm going to put five on this one also. Okay, the next one I have is very unusual. I do believe it is older. I think someone has replaced the lobster claw it just looks older than what it's showing this is very interesting there is no maker mark this is actually um, beaded you can see the little crystal beads in between some of these pieces are glass some of them are more of an acrylic um, you've got I think this bead here is very interesting um, there's a couple along here, and then you've got this little short bead, then you've got a Buddha, then you've got, this is like the centerpiece, is these two little lotus flowers. I just think it's neat, and this, these are carved. Are imprinted if they're resin they're probably imprinted on here but yeah there's a white bead so I'm gonna go ahead and put 12 on this one I just think it's neat it is super long it's probably about 42 inches beautiful colors look at that it's almost like a carnelian or a, um, an orange jade look to it it also looks like um, pink quartz, but it's not. These are not cold beads. Um, the only ones that are cold to the touch are like, well, none of them are really, honestly, to be honest. They're just really pretty, but I think they're all like a resin pressed type of um, bead. Beautiful. The interesting thing is these beads here. Let's see. Let's back a little bit. Look at 
those beads. I think they're actually seed beads that are, yeah, they're little bitty seed beads on the cord. Okay, so that one is fabulous right there. I'll shove it over that way a little bit. Then, of course, we had the, the owl that we all love. It is not marked. Really nice sterling silver. He's just cute as he can be. And I'll put six on him. He looks very, very good. There's that. Okay, this one here is a pendant and a pin or a brooch. It um, seems to be, you know, 80s, 90s, just because it does have a little um, fading on the back. But I checked all the stones are all there. I just think it's gorgeous. Isn't that neat? So we have the creamy white and then the black and the gold back. It's just great. It's very, very pretty. Okay, so for this one, we're going to put seven on it. And these are all prong set, which makes a difference. So that is seven. And I do not believe that these are anything but just um, probably glass or maybe even uh, acrylic plastic type of stone except for this very nice okay next we have what I thought could be 1928 but it's just a pendant it didn't have the chain with it it's just something just a little pretty um it does have the black stones um, two of them are kind of set. The third one actually is prong set. I don't feel that these are anything but, you know, costume jewelry, but all the stones are there. And I'll put $4 on the pendant. Next, we have a just kind of a really neat piece. Um, let me go ahead and clip this. It has a really nice chain on it. Nice extender. Um, you've got the mother of pearl beads. Um, I think these are plastic beads, but we have the mother of pearl here, or the shell. And then um, the chain is nice. The chain is really, really nice. Then we have the glass foil beads here. And more of the Mother of Pearl. And this beautiful pendant. Like, um, it's just different. I don't think I've ever seen one. Um, I'll show you the back. And then you have the little dangles that hang down from the pendant. I love it. I'm going to put 14 on it. Just because it's so unusual. Just love it. Okay, the next one, I was hoping it was real pearls, but I don't think so. No, I think these are just faux pearls, but it's beautiful. Um, this piece, this one with the um, mother of pearl is, oh my, 24, 26, um, about 48 inches, 50 inches. The owl is 32, plus the drop is about 34. Forgot, sorry. This is, let's see, almost 16 inches. This is darling. This looks like real pearls. I mean, they look real. Twisted in with um, faux turquoise. And it has the same color, old style vintage clasp here, the little barrel here. And I just thought it was just so cute. And I'm up at seven on that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, this is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'll show it to you in many different ways. 
We have the brown and blue. We have the brown and black and gold. We have the gold. We have the turquoise. We have the brown again. This thing is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. There is no markings. It looks very tribal. It is just beautiful. And I think it actually goes like this. Yeah, I think it goes like this. And this is the bottom piece down here. I'm pretty sure that's how it lays. It is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This thing is just beautiful. I'm putting um, 18 on this one. Isn't that beautiful? And it is about 28 inches total on that one. Okay, next we have a, believe it or not, guess, guess, this is here. It is really pretty too. Hold on here. Had to make sure. I don't want to lie. Wait a minute. This is faded. I want to make sure. Yeah, it is. Okay, this is cute. Look at that, how pretty that is. That reminds me almost of a 1928. Isn't that lovely? It's in really good shape. And I'm going to put $5 on that. That's darling. And it is a little choker. And it is about 14 inches. Next, we have retro. Looks like a kitchen out of the 70s. This is neat. Isn't that cool? And look at the beads with the little gold spacer in between. It's got a beautiful vintage clasp. This does not say anything on it. But look at that. Now, that is fabulous. That brings me right back to back when I was a little kid. That's absolutely gorgeous so this one is seven just love it it is right at 16 inches not pretty okay the next one is probably it looks like a lace agate or a landscape well it's a it's an agate for sure um kind of along the lines of a geode but look at this. This is beautiful. And then we've got kind of the rosary style bead with the same colors here. And I'm going to put 10 on this one. It's quite a statement piece, isn't it? Show you both sides. Wow. You know, I love the stones. This is over 24 inches, so this is quite a beauty. And you could shorten it if you want to because you've got all these little circles, so you could shorten it. Wonderful. Okay, the next one was supposed to have been, been a Kinder Scott piece. It is not that I know of. It is not marked. But I kind of got ripped, but that's okay. These are like the little window pane um, designs that she uses on a lot of her jewelry. Isn't that pretty? And this is long. It's the metallic black and um, gold tone. The gold is beautiful. This is perfect. It's in perfect condition. It doesn't look like it's ever been worn. It is about 28 inches. And I think somebody would really like this. So let's put 12 on that just because it is so spectacular. It's new. Very pretty. I'm going to turn this over like that. All right. Next, we have a little vintage piece. Um, I did not see a mark, but let me look one more time. I just kind of surprised it's not marked anywhere. Okay. No, but it does have a vintage clasp on it. It is beautiful. It's like pewter. It is gorgeous. It is leaves. 
um, let's see if you can see a bit on here. Oh yeah. And the chain is very, very nice. It is kind of a choker style. Um, it does have a vintage clasp on it, more of a spring ring. Let me measure it for you real quick. Oh, don't fall off, don't fall. I've got a little surprise there. Okay, this is, let's see. This is a little under 15 inches, so it is a choker style. But there's that one. Let's put six on that. I like that. Then we have another vintage style here that is just lovely. It has a barrel clasp. It has some gold beads in between this um, white acrylic looking um, beads here. Very 60s and 70s. This has like, I think this is more or less the transfer wear. I'm not positive. Um, as far as the beads go, they do have little designs on them, and these do. I think these white ones don't. These two do, and the rest. I think if they did, you'd be able to see them better than that. I don't see any on those. But I just thought this was so sweet, and it is... just like that in excellent condition looks brand new and it is 15 inches so there's that okay let me move these over oh did I put a price on that let's just say six dollars for that I love that okay let's move these over real quick um, when I put these up I put them in um, um, bags that are um, wrapped with um, the bubble wrap paper and each one is um, put together as far as what day I did the video so I don't lose anything I don't just cram them all together and all my sterling stays in one spot it doesn't mix in with the other jewelry Okay, before I get into the bucket of bracelets, I have a piece, a set, that I'm thinking maybe someone would like. If you don't have amber or were looking or like amber, I'll show you this piece real quick. Okay. Let's do it this way so you can see better. Okay, there is the fluorescing of the amber. This is a really good test. <laughs> you can really see it. Look at that, it turns bright green. So I have the earrings and the necklace. And this is an older piece, I do believe. This looks like the uh, a couple of pieces I have that are Baltic. This is not a dark amber. This is a lighter, kind of orangish yellow. Um, more of a, um, my Baltic amber is darker. But this is, you know, it doesn't matter. It could come from the same spot. This has an extender here with a very large lobster clasp. Um, just the look of it makes me think that maybe this has been redone also from a vintage piece, but it's in great condition. It's all these multi strands, it is wire, and these pieces are just gorgeous. So I've got this piece here, and I think I've settled on probably 22 for this piece. And we do have the amber, of course, and then these are. These are like glass. These are cold. And then we have the little seed beads going through it. And these clear beads are really pretty too. So you've got the kind of the orange and the green. Let's see what it looks like from the back. Wow. Isn't that cool? All right. So let's get busy with the bracelets. 
I hope everybody's doing well. The pups sound like they're being quiet. So let's get this bucket done and then we can get to the earrings and other things here soon. Okay, first one I have, move over, move over. First one I have is hematite with the copper or brass. It, it really feels good. It's a really well made, probably India, just beautiful. See the designs on it, isn't that pretty? And it, you can open it to put it on. It's not like that difficult. And you have to clip it shut. This is a little larger, but it's beautiful. Probably fit about seven and a half, close to an eight. And I'll put $5 on that one. Okay, now I'm getting ready to do a lot of them. Not like a lot, like many. I mean like lotted. As far as some of these are actual stones, some of these are not. Let's see. I should have put that with the owl. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, next I'll show you this one real quick. This has got like the mermaid glass. Um, which is getting to be really popular right now. This middle one is not quite as iridescent as these two, but isn't that pretty? They just glow, and it's got this on it, so it'll fit about any one, and I'll put six on that one. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let me get these together. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, we've got that one. Yeah, I came across quite a few that I was I didn't even know I had. And I said, well, I can lock some of these up. Okay, I've got a really nice one here. Beautiful, absolutely gold. It is tiger's eye for days. Look at that. Look at those big balls of tiger's eye. So this one is 12. It's got the beautiful clasp here. It has no gold wear at all. It is just fabulous. There is a tiny little mark on this, but I can't show it to you. It looks like someone sitting on the back of a horse or a buffalo or something like that. It's just a little teeny, it's like the person doesn't even have a stick body. It's just, you know, it's very, very different. But yeah, this is beautiful. As you can hear it, it's just gorgeous. Okay, I'm still lotting up stuff. Let's see. Okay, I think that's it for these bracelets. I've got a couple other little necklaces. Okay, we have a mother of pearl cuff here. And it's um, a little smaller. It's really pretty. I'm not even gonna put it on, but it's very, very nice. And I'm gonna put $5 on that. And it does have a little give to it. Okay, these right here are just some some little stone stretchies. Those are pretty. I think the these two tested as stones, and then that one tested as stone, that tested as glass. So these are little stone. There's four of them. Let's do six dollars for those four. This is just tiny little seed beads with mother of pearl there. Let's do three dollars on this little sparkly group. Very pretty. Okay, we've got glass and lamp work. Okay, these lamp work beads, sorry, I keep going over that way, are gorgeous. Look at these. Look at this one. It has the roses. These are lovely. This is a beautiful ceramic bead. And then that one, just beautiful. Okay, so and then we've got this glass and rondelle. Nice stretch. 
And then this one here, the lamp work on this is fabulous. Look at that. Then we've got these. These are like the bridal cake or wedding cake ones with rondelles that are gorgeous. Even these little clear beads are nice. Beautiful. This is like an anklet size. Um, just the most beautiful beads. So this set right here, we'll call it the wedding cake. Um, let's put 10 on that because those would be a crafter's dream right there. Okay, next we have a beautiful stretch. I just thought these beads were nice. Very nice, very metallic, you know, they're metal. All the stones are there. Very 20s and 30s looking. Kind of flapper design, isn't that pretty? I'll put $3 on that one. This is the memory wire. Let's put these two together. This one is nothing special. Let's put that in crafts, I'm sorry. This one has the little Japanese coin. It's like the Shambhala. It's brand new. And it's wood. It's wooden and um, the little Japanese coin. And this one is beautiful. This one has ceramic beads all throughout. Just really nice. If nothing else, uh, take the beads off. But yes, these beads are fabulous. Look at that. So this little set right here, I'll put it six. That's for those two. And the owl that I have, as far as the necklace goes, I'm just gonna add this with the owl. So if anybody wants that owl necklace, I can't remember what price I put on it, um, I'm going to put in this bracelet. It's just really, really cute. Okay, so we're done with the bracelets. Let's get these out of the way. Next we have, oh my gosh, I forgot the best one. Okay, this one says, this is in stainless steel. It's a little plaque. It's, a, it's the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity. Okay. And then it has, this is the back of it with the little heart here. It's lightweight. It is um, probably leather cord. It feels leathery. And then you have the serenity prayer there. So let's put um, $3 on it. I want somebody that really likes it to get it. So we'll put $3 on the serenity prayer, which we, we know it's the God grant, grant me the serenity to know. Anyway. Okay. All righty. Let's pull out some bling. <laughs> there's a few little costume rings in here. Oh, there's a pendant. Okay, there's a little bitty, okay. Here's a little tiny, very vintage heart here. Isn't that cute? And you can tell it's vintage because of the clasp. I'll show it to you real quick. Almost done here. Oh yeah, this is sweet. So here we have this, the heart right here. Wow, isn't that nice? The chain is even nice. I, I'm just surprised. But this clasp here is an older style, probably from the 60s. And it just clips down in, in that little area there. But this is darling. I'm going to put $5 on it because it's vintage. And the heart is actually flowers with um, like frosted gold around them. Yeah, so we'll put five on that. Get that out of the way. 
We have a JLo ring. It's a piece of glass. Isn't that cool? It is a size. Let's see. Seven. It's exactly a seven. So if you want to be flashy, whoops, if you want to be flashy, there we go. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, we're gonna put $4 on that, J-Lo. Next, we have a little baby elephant. He is so cute. He is a size nine and a quarter. And he just kind of sits on the edge you can see that's his back and this is his front Isn't he cute he's kind of a gold he might be a little worn but he's still cute I'll show you Isn't that darling and I'll put four dollars on him nice and big then we have mother of pearl it's pink it is right at a size nine, and that's pretty. We'll put $5 on that. This is the fake 925, and it is a size, let's see, right at a six and a half. Now, this is six and a quarter, and it says 925, and it is not. And then it has like CZ, but it's really pretty. Isn't that neat? Nothing's missing, it's in perfect condition. So there's that one. So we'll put $6 on that, because I got kind of hosed. <laughs> okay, this next one is a, let's see. That's a six and a half, six, yeah, six and a half. And it's a vintage ring. It's a faux mother of pearl with some like gold tone and some little stones, some little rhinestones. It's in excellent condition. I mean, there's really no wear whatsoever. And it is a size. What's that? Six and a half. Yeah. Six and a half. And she is really cute. And we'll put five on her. And then we have a pretty little pendant. She is not 925, or it is not 925. Um, I don't think she stuck to the magnet, but she's just gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous pendant. Um, I'll put it right there. It's pretty. It's, and she's just glass. It's not actual um, stones or anything. But she's pretty enough to um, put on a nice chain. Yeah, she looks expensive. It looks like it's real. So we'll put $5 on that. Push those over. Okay, the next couple things I have are kind of, oh, this is my little eclectic mix here. Um, this is gorgeous. This has a really nice clasp here. And we have a stone of some kind. I don't know, it's um, just so different, I don't have a clue. It does have a um, line right there to where you can see it's actually a real stone. It is absolutely gorgeous. It has kind of a um, gunmetal chain. The chain is nice. It is just very, very unusual. It looks like landscape jasper. I'm not sure what it is. It's super gold. Um, and I'm going to sell this for 12 I just think it's neat. It's just a very pretty color. Okay, we got that for 12. Um, this is another one that's unmarked that I really like. 
And it's this beautiful green color that you don't see very often. It is double stranded. It is kind of a, um, I don't know, just, I don't know what you would call it. Industrial look. Um, I just think it's cool. Looks like something you'd find. Um, it kind of reminds me of a Chico's piece in a way, but it's not. And these, um, almost like the snake mesh chains are really soft. They feel really well made, but there is no maker's mark on this piece, unfortunately, because it is gorgeous. So I'm gonna put 10 on this one just because it's so cool. Okay. And then next piece we have, I thought somebody might be interested in it. I do believe it is a belt, but it has these big pieces and these um, concho um, looking pieces here. And then you've got this beautiful chain, really nice um, connector here to where, you know, if you wanted to, I suppose you could wear it as a necklace. I mean, honestly. But yes, this is just so cool. And um, there we go. Isn't that neat? This has got definitely a Southwestern flair, but I just love it. I think it's so neat. What do you guys think? Yeah. So it says made in. I know that's not China. Uh -uh. It says made in Taiwan. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so we're going to put 10 on this. This is neat. And that looks like bone, but I think it's just probably a resin. Um, I don't think it's anything. But there's that. Okay, we're getting down to the real nitty gritty here. Almost done. Okay, we've got this piece here. It's not marked, but it is nice. It's pretty. Um, it's just a choker style, probably about 15 and a half inches. But it's very blingy. The chain is very nice. Um, it's just too nice to put into crafts or anything. And I think I'll put $4 on this. Next, we have um, this beautiful piece. It is not a hand knotted glass pearls. They are the darker kind of peacock South Sea color. Um, they are faux. But I thought this was gorgeous. Um, this is the bottom. There is no clasp. Everything's there. All the little rhinestones are there. I just thought it was a neat piece. And like I said, with this gray tone, shiny faux pearl, I thought it was just beautiful. So I'm going to put 10 on that. Isn't that nice? That'd be so pretty. Then we've got a piece I just love. And I do believe it's halite. It is, um, I don't think this has a clasp. That's what I was just looking for. I don't think it does, and but it doesn't matter. I really like it. These connector pieces are very pretty. They're shiny. Um, I'll show you a close-up of the stones. They aren't the same. You know what I mean? It's not like they were minted on the same machine. Um, they're cold, but I do not believe that they're real. But boy, they are pretty. The blue and the, the light blue and the almost orange is fabulous. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put 10 on this one. It is about 32 inches total. And you could probably double it if you wanted to. 
but I think it's beautiful. And it makes me hungry because they look like M&Ms. So that's beautiful. Okay, then we have a little a little bracelet. It's a little cha-cha bracelet. I have not tested it for silver. It does not stick. And it's hearts. And this is going to go, since I haven't shown what new is in the um, heart jewelry box that I'm giving away, this is going to go in there. It's actually got a heart there. And it says, huh, it says 9-8, and it's got some Japanese writing. So this is going to go into the um, jewelry giveaway box because this is all hearts. Isn't that pretty? So I'm not going to do anything with it. Um, whoever wins the jewelry box can clean it up or do whatever they want. I set that over there. The last piece I have is plastic. No. It is so pretty. Um, I think I can fix that in about two seconds. It is... Um, it has come undone right there. But it has the most beautiful art glass beads. These are fabulous. Um, they're heavy. They're strong on cord. This is definitely a vintage piece. But I thought someone would really enjoy these beads, if nothing else. I didn't want to put them in crafting because I think they're, you know, worthy of being sold. Those are lighter. And then it goes down and those get bigger. Oh, it's pretty. It is just beautiful. So I'm going to put $7 on this one. And I think we are at our time limit. So I'm going to stop here. I'm going to check on the peppers. Make sure they're doing good. And um, I think that we will probably get back tomorrow with some more... Um, things. I actually have brooches and earrings still to go through. I have jewelry lots. I have. There's one of them. These will be sold in lots or almost like a jewelry jar, but it'll be like a bag. There's another one. So we will go through these tomorrow. And there's a third one. This is all perfectly wearable jewelry. None of it is, this is not junk. This is not anything that should go in a craft lot. This is all wearable stuff. So, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. Let's see, I dropped something here. Um, hold on. I hate that. Okay, so we've done well um, today. The dogs are good. Um, if anybody's interested in anything, make sure you email me your information before you request to purchase. I've still got people I'm waiting on to um, send me their information. So um, any questions, any comments, let me know. You can comment below or you can send me a private email and um, we will get back on here tomorrow. And I appreciate you all so much and your subscriptions, your subscribing, you know, telling your friends. Um, we're just growing and it's just wonderful. So we will get back with you tomorrow. You guys have a safe and wonderful evening. Talk to you tomorrow.